In America, it is the 4th of July weekend. And it is America the beautiful. But I say it is America the beautiful. T-H-E-E. The beauty of our great nation is only partly in spacious skies, amber waves of grain, purple mountains majesty, and fruited plains. The real beauty of America is in the potential of its people. Every country has land, but few countries have citizens with the same daring, drive, and determination of Americans. The courage of our forefathers and foremothers is part of the fabric that makes our way of life a great society. People of this day and age have the courage of our pioneers, but the expansion is not westward. It is inward. Tomorrow's pioneers will forge new trails of spirituality. This society needs more lights to lead the way to a kinder and a gentler land. Envisioned in the original dream of a free nation, today the freedom to become whatever we can see in mind. Let's envision a land without violence. A land where the good of the people is manifest in prosperity and in abundance. A land where crime is no longer a challenge. Working together, Americans created the Industrial Revolution. It is now time for a spiritual revolution. July 4th marks our nation's 239th birthday. Again, on this day, we say to those that have gone before us, in God we trust. It is time for us to forge ahead beyond our greatest achievement of the past. In the past, our wondrous achievements were in the outer, but in the future, our greatest achievements will be in the inner. The patriot of tomorrow will build cities with the brick of divine reliance and on the mortar of love. In God we trust will be the foundation upon which we forge a new America. Each will accept responsibility for the renewal of America. Each of us will value our individual freedoms so much that we see the value of being involved in the system. May the future bring the day when each American will cast a vote and participate instead of criticizing from the sidelines. Hate and division will be sidelined. The new America will see religions and churches reaching out in friendship to one another, realizing that we are all under the government of one God. Urban decay becomes gardens. Darkness turns to light. And we find each neighborhood as a safe dwelling place as we, the children, are joined together in manifesting the divine. America becomes a place of divine order and harmony, where two or more are gathered. When millions agree to consent to God, a shift in conscious awareness will take place in every town, city, and state. A new declaration of independence will be made against everything not up to the God love standard. Our houses will become homes of God, and our churches will become beacons of light, showing the way for all people to become the best that they can be. Churches will no longer fight among themselves, shouting differences in doctrinal beliefs. Instead, 
They will work together for a common good of humanity's upliftment. May each American realize that in the final four letters of the word American, it spells, I can. The dream of this free nation can be realized as each person comes into his or her own. Who can change America? The national government, the state government, the local precinct, or we the people who believe I can. The vision of a perfect society is not a new one. Utopia has been dreamed of ever since the story of Adam and Eve. Just because we have not fully manifested this concept in the past does not make it impossible. People have the vision within them because they have the vision given to them by God. They inwardly know that there is a better way, a better life, and hold eternal hope for a better tomorrow. Moment by moment, in every area, may God make America the, T-H-E-E, beautiful. Let us pray. May God continue to bless the United States of America. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.